So is the AI growth still in, intact, Mark? I know, you know, it's, it's for me a little bit uneasy at times reading that actually it's NVIDIA that frankly moves like hundreds of trillions of dollars because it props up or it makes the, the whole market fall. But how do you feel about it? Yeah, well, within the equity allocation, I think we're seeing some uh, positive trends. We've been uh, overweight AI. Uh, we think, you know, we've been saying this is certainly a real trend. And we were heartened to see in the uh, this earnings period just how much the CapEx exposure to AI has has been increasing. And so we think that the, the trend can continue. I mean, the phenomenal revenue growth, something like 262% year over year for uh, NVIDIA it is, is, is astounding. But the but the the trends there for for AI and that bottleneck around chips seems like it's going to continue for some time. A at the same time, it's good to note that the equity rally has broadened out both uh, you know away from tech but also globally. So, where are you expecting the biggest gains to be from now until the end of the year? First of all, I mean, if equities are supported again, is is it across is it across the world? Do you look at sectors or do you look at regions? Uh, you know, I think that we're it's uh, it's a little bit thematic uh, the, the way that we're looking at it. So certainly tech is is one area. But another area where where we see gains is kind of the the you know, the feeding the power and the infrastructure around this uh, AI revolution. And that leads us to things like uh, commodities. Uh, and so we actually are overweight in the UK where valuations are attractive, the economy is improving, and you get some of this exposure to commodities and uh, infrastructure that we like.